Making a two-piece silicone mold with Platsil 7315. We're going to mold some prop scissors and we're going to do this making a two-piece silicone mold and we'll be doing this to reproduce a prop set of EasyFlow 60 scissors. Now the first step is to make a mold frame. Now you can either cut one of these out of plywood or you can buy one from us. We sell these basic mold frames at our store and we're going to block that off and hold it in place with uh, C-clamps to give ourselves uh, about an inch or so perimeter around the scissors. Now once we've defined where our mold box needs to be, we're going to fill the bottom half of the mold box with clay. Now this is wet clay or water-based clay. Uh, we, it's sold under the name white modeling clay. And white modeling clay is just a, a very basic easy to use water-based clay. Very soft, so it's great for building mold dividing walls and that sort of thing. Now once we've smoothed out that clay, we want to gently press our scissors into the clay. And once we've done that, we need to define some keys. So we're going to lube up one end of a Sharpie marker and use that to create some negative keys in the first half of our mold. Now these keys are very important registration points for the two, two parts of our silicone mold that we're going to make. So we want to make sure we have plenty of registration points there so our mold will not shift or, uh, or slide any when we go to clamp it together. Now we're going to take our box dimensions and prepare to weigh out and measure our silicone. Now our box is nine and a half inches long by five inches wide by about one and a half inches deep. That gives us about 71.25 cubic inches of mass. Now if we divide that by the cubic inches per pound of our silicone, which is 25, we'll get the exact weight of the silicone we need to pour that half of the mold. Now before we mix our mold rubber, we want to spray some 2500 mold release over our pattern and over the mold box and the exposed clay. A light spray of 2500 will keep the silicone from sticking to any metal or glass parts and just makes the release of the mold a lot easier. Now this is 7315. This is a platinum silicone that's very low viscosity. We're using this silicone because it won't need to be degassed and since it's clear we can see if we have any air entrapment and break up any of the bubbles as they form. Now the last little step we're going to do is a little bit of housekeeping on the mold. We're going to put some clay in the corners to make sure we don't have any leaks when we pour our silicone. Now this is also very important because you don't want to have a very expensive puddle of platinum silicone form if your mold is not properly sealed. Now we're ready to measure out our 7315 silicone. Now it's important to remember 7315 is a platinum silicone so don't wear latex gloves when you're handling it. And also keep in mind 7315 is, uh, you can mix it either by weight or volume. So it's a very easy to use platinum silicone system. And it's very low viscosity as you'll see when we pour here. So there's no need to vacuum degas the silicone. Now once this is properly mixed, and again as with all silicones and two part materials, we always want to scrape the sides of the bottom of the mixing container to make sure everything is mixed up properly. Now ready to pour the silicone over our pattern. Now it's always a good idea when you're making a pour like this, even though this is a low viscosity silicone, to pour in a continuous stream and a thin stream to allow the bubbles to break up and to pour in one spot to push the air away from the pattern. And you'll notice a few little bubbles coming to the surface there and we're going to break those up by spraying a little bit of uh, 2500 mold release across the surface of our silicone mold. Just a light spray of that will break the surface tension and as those bubbles come to the surface they will pop uh, because the oil has lowered that surface tension. Any other little bubbles we can reach in there with a needle and break those bubbles and now we have the first half of our mold. Now 7315 will cure in about four hours so you want to give your mold at least four hours before you cut on it and that's what we're doing here is cutting in some registration keys. We're going to make a backing for this side of the mold with some easy flow resin. Now this is an optional step you could just use some pieces of wood here also but we wanted to make a nice custom backing that was keyed into the silicone mold. So we cut some knot shaped keys 
on all four sides, and then we mixed up some Easy Flow resin to pour over the top. Now that's my little rubber thumb I use to keep my scalpel from cutting me. Now here's some Easy Flow 120 that we mixed up and poured over that half of the mold. And we added some accelerator to kick this off pretty fast. So there's our first half of the mold curing right now. And that just gives a hard backing. Since 7315 is about a 15 shore A, we want it to have a good rigid backing so the mold won't distort when we go to cast into it. Now once our Easy Flow resin has cured to a hard white plastic, we're ready to flip over our mold frame. Now what we're doing here is we're carefully removing these C-clamps as to not disturb this mold frame. And then we're going to carefully turn it over and reattach those C-clamps so they'll be on the upper side of the mold once it's flipped over. Now we want to be careful not to disturb the mold and not open that frame because we want those sides to align properly. So we want to replace these C-clamps and then carefully remove our clay and clean off that first half of the mold. And keep in mind the cleaner you get that first half, the, the better your seam line will be between these two pieces of the mold. Now once we've got our mold frame reattached, ready to pull out our water-based clay. And the nice thing about using water-based clay for this application is if there's any residue, we can use a wet brush to carefully wash away any clay residue that might be left on the first half of the mold. Now once we've done that, we're ready to release the first half of the mold with mold release. Now you can do this two ways. You can either spray some 2500 mold release, just make sure that you get a very good spray, a uh, very liberal coating of 2500 mold release. Or in this case, we're using some Vaseline mixed with mineral spirits brushed over that first half of the mold and the scissors. And we allow that to dry, and then we pour our second half of Platzil 7315. And again, keep in mind, you've got about a 20-minute pour time with this silicone and then a four-hour demold. Now, once this, this second half of the mold has been poured, then we'll be ready to let this cure the additional four hours and then prepare the second half of our mold. And again, on this mold, we're doing both sides with a hard resin backing so that we'll have a nice alignment and it, this, this gets us around having to cut some boards to fit this and it gives us the benefit of having keys where those plastic sides align with the rubber mold. Now again we're going to spray a light coat of 2500 over the top of the mold and that just breaks that surface tension and helps those little champagne bubbles come to the surface. And now once our mold has sat for four hours we're ready to make the backing on this side. And again, we're cutting some keys into this rubber mold. You want to make sure you cut some little V-shaped notch keys on all four sides of the mold so that your resin mother mold will have a place to align with the rubber mold. And again, here we're using Easy Flow resin. This is Easy Flow 120 that we've added some accelerator to just to make a, a quick backing for this mold. Any of the Easy Flow series resins will work for this application. And once this is cured to a hard plastic, we're ready to remove our C-clamps and carefully mold. Now if we did everything properly, we should have a very, very nice two-piece mold with resin backing. And again, that resin backing is critical here because we're using a fairly soft rubber for this application, and this makes the mold alignment that much more true. Now we carefully separate our two halves, and there you have our two-piece silicone mold of our scissors, ready for casting Easy Flow 60 resin.